Well, the court system can be tough enough for adults to nav navigate. Imagine if you're a kid. Oh, overwhelming. CASA volunteers are that voice, consistent and reliable, and with that girl or boy until they get a permanent home. Yeah, and Kim Thomas is the executive director of our local CASA chapter, chapter and Terrence Fox is here uh, yeah. with the organization as Welcome well. Welcome back. It's Thanks. nice to see you again, Terrence. Nice to meet you. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocate. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what the organization, how, was, how did it get started? Um, it started about 35, 40 years ago um, in Seattle when a judge um, was going through a case, really difficult case, and just didn't feel like he was getting enough information. And so they started the program. Um, it's volunteers that were coming in, and it's just kind of blown up from there. There's mm. over a thousand CASA organizations across the nation. And we advocate for kids in foster care by mm -hmm. providing a volunteer who is consistent, um, who's seeing that child in every aspect of their life, and they give those recommendations to the judge. In order to know how valuable volunteers are, I think it's good to know where your funding comes from, yeah. and that it's not like people are bringing you gobs of money. <laughs> like, oh, don't we wish? The Brinks truck is pulling up outside your <laughs> office daily. So where do, where do you get your funds? So our organization, it's a little bit different for everyone, but in, mm -hmm. in Douglas County, it's we're a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and all our money comes from foundations, individuals, and corporations. Mm -hmm. So myself and my board, other staff, Staff members, we do all the fundraising, so we depend on the community to um, help us serve the community. Yeah, and you've been doing a lot of work in the community yes. to get word out about CASA. Um, what do you hope to accomplish? What are you looking to do? You know, our, our overall goal is to really um, spread the message and the mission of CASA so people understand what's going on and what, mm -hmm. what needs are out there. And ultimately, we'd like to provide every child in foster care with a CASA, someone who can be their cheerleader um, and can really tell kind of an unbiased story to the judge. Mm -hmm. How many kids are you serving now? Um, if you, you look at that total pool of kids you'd like to reach, what's the percent? So we're, we're roughly around 25% now, wow. where previously we were, a couple years ago, we were serving only 10 to 12%. Mm -hmm. So we've been really on a big capacity roll right now, mm -hmm. and we expect that to <coughs> increase even more over the next couple of years. With more volunteers. Yes, That's absolutely. exactly how you do it. Can you explain a little bit what these, when, when these kids are in the court system uh, as foster mm -hmm. um, kids, what's the process like? And what's it like without having a CASA volunteer uh, as opposed to with? You know, the process, I mean, if you can just imagine being a, a young uh, individual, um, you get pulled out of your home, what's, what's normal to you. Now, what we may think is normal, what they think is normal, two different things, but immediately you have a multitude of professionals and adults asking you very private, intrusive questions. You may go to a home where you're completely unfamiliar, and then the court process starts. So the child is often not in the courtroom because they're during the day, so they're at school, but they are knowing that their family is going through something and they know their parents are going to these court hearings and mm -hmm. trying to fight for them or not. I mean, it just depends on what's going on in that case, but it's very stressful for these mm -hmm. kids. And so a child that has a CASA volunteer has someone that is really consistent again. They're seeing them, they can depend on them, they, they can have their voice heard. Mm -hmm. So that's the most important thing. You know, they're, they're, they're able to share really important things that are going on in their life that can be um, translated into a court report for the judge. Uh, you know, the CASA volunteer, I, I kind of have this concept in my mind of when I see a CASA volunteer is they are that person that is developing that relationship where there's, you know, with every professional that's in this child's life, like Kim said, there are questions being asked. There's, you know, all kinds of things. Well, with a CASA, it's more or less, it, it's, it's kind of a mentor, but it's, we have more responsibility mm -hmm. in developing that relationship and really seeing what's best for this child. Terrence, when you're recruiting volunteers, are there certain qualities or characteristics you look for and you know they're going to be an outstanding volunteer because? One simple thing, just have a heart for children. I mean, if you, know, if you truly understand that the kids that are in this particular situation mm -hmm. are there because of not their choice, mm -hmm. majority of the time, and you have a heart to help that child, um, that's really what we're looking for. Um, obviously, there, there's, there's a time commitment involved with this, mm -hmm. so there has to be some type of energy and, and so forth and so on that you bring to the table. But to make a long story short, it's, it's really, if you have a huge heart for kids and you want to help them, 
uh, we're interested in, in, in using you. A lot gonna, of our, I was going to say, we're going to show you how to do it, too. So yeah. Right, you're not alone. You yeah. don't have to show up as a volunteer, exactly. and then you have no clue what <clears throat> right. to do next. Yeah, and we have a lot of viewers out there who may be mm -hmm. thinking, you know, this. I have, I have a deep passion for kids. Mm -hmm. I may not have as much time. So right. what is the time commitment, and, and what, what do these volunteers need to uh, expect? Well, initially, we go through, um, we, we place every volunteer through a 30-hour a training mm -hmm. um, session. And it's broken out over a six-week period. So, and it's very the training is very flexible. We do one in the afternoon and we do one in the evening. So we accommodate people's uh, work schedules. You know, you can be a full-time employee and also be a casa. Mm -hmm. And so then once we we train them, uh, and then we assign a casa th them to a particular case, uh, what we then do is we give them a supervisor who kind of walks them through the process and helps them understand what exactly needs to be done with court reporting and writing a court report and things of that nature. So once you become a CASA, you're never alone. Mm -hmm. um, I became a CASA about a month and a half ago as well mm -hmm. as being on staff. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> my supervisor uh, really understood exactly how limited I was <laughs> sure, <laughs> in certain areas. Yeah, so, sure. so, and, and she trained me. Well, and that brings us back to training. And I want our viewers, if you are compelled to get involved and become a CASA. We have some information about these volunteer sessions. So they're the second Tuesday of each month at noon or at 5.30 at the CASA for Douglas County Training Center. The phone number there on the screen as well. So if you have any questions at all, but can they, they need to let you know they're coming or can they just pop no, into one of those sessions? They can just show up to any of those sessions and we will That's gladly terrific. welcome them and mm -hmm. kind of show them around and give them an application. But it's about Great. volunteers in this case. Some organizations come and they, they, they need money the most. And I know that's important too, mm -hmm. but volunteers, that's why you've got this campaign underway now. Right. Mm -hmm. It's critically important. CasaOmaha.org, the website. Yeah, thanks a lot, Kim. Thank Karen, you. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. We appreciate you, you and your uh, candor too. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Thank you. Uh,